Hey everyone, it's Blender Helix Alpha here, and um, I have a really delicious salad next to me, so I'm going to go ahead and get this tutorial done real quick. Um, basically what it is, is, uh, is a tutorial showing you how to make normal maps in Blender uh, 2.49. We're going to be using 2.49 uh, today. Um, a lot of people is, are always asking me, you know, what program do you uh, make your normal maps in? And I tell them I make my own in Blender. And... Uh, so let me show you guys how to do that today. We are going to delete everything in our scene. Then we're going to add mesh plane. Size it up using S a little bit. And then we're going to press tab to go into edit mode. W subdivide, W subdivide. And then just keep doing that until it's about that much. And maybe we'll do it again. Then what we're going to do is give this a material. So go to your material tab, add new. And then go to your texture layers, add new, change this into clouds, and click hard noise, and uh, change the noise depth, or noise size, down a little bit, and uh, then we're going to go back into edit mode, and go to this tab, F9 I think it is, yeah, and then we're going to hit noise, and hit that about three times, we're just going to be making a really basic normal map today. In, or, in order to do that, we have to make a really high poly version of it. Um, so basically, what it's going to look like on the actual map, and then we'll uh, make an image out of that by baking whatever is on here onto that. So let's set that smooth, and then let's just for extra extra smoothness, let's make it. Let's put a subsurf on it. So it's really smooth. Um, this could be used for rock or anything like that, gravel anything. Uh, so let's go to our top view and uh, let's split our area and make a and uh, make a UV image editor window image new and uh, let's make this just for the video's sake 700 by 700 so it renders just a little bit faster and let's name this testing underscore in um, that you can name it whatever you want to but uh, a really good habit to have is to put underscore in for all of your normal maps and for your diffuse maps underscore D so uh, let's go ahead and apply that subsurf. We should have done that a little bit earlier, but that's totally fine. Let's hit tab, and what we need to do is uh, unwrap this. So let's make sure all the vertices are selected. Press U, project from view bounds. And so it'll look like that now. And what we're going to want to do now is Control Alt B, and bake normals. And once I click this, it's going to take a little while. All right, guys. So it's done rendering, and if you did everything right, it's going to look like this. Now, uh, Blender makes things look a little bit different uh, than usual normal maps. Usually normal maps are blue and purple, but these are usually uh, red and green. And uh, that has to do with, um, you know, the atmosphere and Blender and everything. It's just kind of how it's done. So, uh, if you did it right, it should look like this. So next, what we're going to do is delete our plane, because we have our image off of it. And uh, let's save that as a JPEG just so we have it on our computer. Let's add mesh and make a new plane. Let's size that up. Project from view bounds. So now if we go into texture mode, it'll be, it'll look like that. Uh, so we've textured it with that. Now what we want to do is test out our normal map and make sure it works. So go to game and Blender GLSL materials. Basically what that does is it um, enables GLSL materials, which is good. Let's add a lamp and drag that up. Make sure we have a material on here. Add new image. Let's make that that. And we're just going to use the default for uh, diffuse, so you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. And let's make the, um, on that layer, let's make the input UV, and it maps to color, and it's already like that by default. And uh, for the next texture layer, let's make it another image. Sorry, my computer is lagging a little bit. Let's make this image also. <coughs> also. And uh, let's load that up. And right here, you're, you're going to want to click Normal Map. And then go over to here and make that Map Input UV. And then it maps to Normal. 
and you are, you'll already start seeing a difference right here. It's a pretty, pretty deep normal map, um, and that's just because the model that we had earlier was really deep. And you can see now that your normal map is totally working perfectly in GLSL. Uh, let's, let's duplicate a few lights so it's a little easier to see. But yeah, you can see here that it is working really nicely. So that's how you make a normal map. If you would want to make this actually look like stone instead of like a rainbow color, you would want to go into um, this image and save it as testing underscore D for your diffuse and then overlay a rock texture or something like that using GIMP or Photoshop or something like that. And it would look like rock. So yeah, guys, I hope this helped you out um, to make custom, awesome-looking, um, totally unique normal maps for yourself. So yeah, guys, please subscribe, like, favorite, and all that crap. See you guys later.